Ah, the hunting lodge. It's kind of interesting to find the hunting lodge right up here against the side of the, the city. Let's scoot over to the campground, see if there's a uh, perfect condition luxury RV we can grab some battery power from. There's a roadblock! <laughs> uh, there is no RV. I think the RV would be right here. Yep, that's where the RV would be. So we got no RV. Don't want to get shot by riot control. I don't care about finding a bow. Road is a dead end. Fungal tower that is obviously not fungaling. Defective fungal tower. Uh oh, you gonna let me into a house? Mm, nope, not really. Nope. <laughs> Boomer Glutton comes charging out of the house. Fifth Church, Church. Is that the one that has the tall cathedral I can get up into to take a look around? Uh, yeah. And can I punch through one of these stained glass windows? I know there's a door right here. I would love to get to the top of this church with a uh, binoculars, but obviously I can't get there without being spotted over here. So I set up a distraction of some kind. I don't think there's an entrance. Necro Boomer that has spotted me. He's going to go boom. I could try to lead him away and then come back. Almost never works. Added an ankle biter to the party. Please let me in this church. It would help speed this up so much. Oh, he's running back. That is so much bull crap. <laughs> that is so much crap. 49 away, huh? He's running right at me. And now we got a grappler. Yeah, this is how it always goes. Divert one, three more show up. Divert those three, five more show up. Just constantly. Now we're up to a bunch. Are those dogs after me now? Because that fat zombie hurt them. God damn it. Oh, Necro Boomers can open doors. <laughs> uh, I gotta I gotta remember this is a possibility. I keep forgetting these possibilities. Necro boomers are smart enough to open doors. All right, so I already got the speed set. The other stuff won't catch me, so we just got to let go of the controls. Grab. Go with, uh, yeah, go with Roberto. Yeah, let's go with Roberto. Let's start stabbing. This guy is kicking my ass. I am I am getting absolutely wrecked by a necro boomer. Absolutely wrecked. I haven't hit him a single time yet. Not one single time. And another ballistic plate just got shattered. Oh, these are so useless. These are so useless. I am gonna throw a fit here. <laughs> We're going to end up with broken arms, and I'm going to have to squat somewhere for weeks, getting the stupid arms reset. Because he's only because the blocks are only hitting my arms. 
Did I ever get... Yeah, look at that. My, my metal arm guards got damaged. They're getting damaged constantly. And the damage is actually coming past the metal arm guards. Our blocks are... Uh, my block from my pancreation is getting me hurt here. It almost... I, I think I might need to actually stop blocking. Turn off... Well, I shouldn't be getting pancreation blocks because we're using the martial arts not being used. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. So we're just regular arm blocking? <laughs> As opposed to pancreation arm blocking currently? Uh, you miss, you miss, you miss. You miss, you miss. You miss. I think I, I missed somewhere else in there as well. This is a zombie necro boomer, and I am just non stop missing while he tears me up. I haven't done a single point of damage to him yet. Bloated and punctured by jet black pustules. And apparently super, super dodgy while standing in the <laughs> door of a vehicle. <sighs> Son of a... I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not terribly overburdened on encumbrance or anything either. I don't think he's going to kill me. I think, well, he could kill me. If he breaks my arms, I won't be able to wield my, my rifle. <sighs> I'll try a few more swings, but if we don't get a kick in or a hit in, I don't know what I'm going to do. By the time I can grab the rifle, it's, he's going to hit me like six, eight more times. It's going to cost me 345 to wield the pew. So he'll get uh, quite a few hits in. Hit him with the 50. I'm in kind of the line of fire from the 50. I, I don't know exactly how it works. I didn't mind trying the other one because worst case, I was just going to hit a part of the vehicle I could replace. But <laughs> the 50 is right there. So I, I don't want to take a shot from my own 50. I'm kind of in the line of fire. <laughs> so I'm not sure what would happen. You don't miss often with a, a, a machine gun like this. I'm going to take a few more shots. I might resort to the 50. But we'll try to swing a few more times. How many How many misses are we up to so far in a row? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six so far. Oh, and then we get a little tiny hit in. 26 damage puncture. He hit the arm again, of course. And now we get a crit. And we stun him, and we kicked him. So all of a sudden, as as I've proven time and again, all you got to do is complain. Just just be a big whiner complainer, and and all of a sudden things work. <laughs> yeah, you just got to whine and complain. See, that's the magic. That's the magic. Just whine and complain, point out the ridiculous, and then the game will go back on course, and um, you'll look silly for making all that noise. See, see. Yeah, I apparently have. I'm not. Uh, I'm not fully paid up on my my salt tax. <laughs> I got to pay my salt tax. Yeah, the kitchen's non-passable, so it would either blow the kitchen out or it would uh, shoot me, <laughs> one or the other. So, I I wasn't worried so much about death as I was just inconvenience and just annoyance factor. But I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with all the arm blocking when I'm not actively using the martial art. Is that... Am I wrong? Isn't that strange? I mean, we just about blocked my arm guards into into oblivion. I don't think I should be getting all those arm blocks when uh, we're using a weapon not valid for the martial art. And leg blocks. Did I miss leg blocks in there? I was just noticing the, uh, the metal arm guards message, so I didn't notice the uh, leg blocks if we were getting those in. Off balance, off balance. Yep, right there. You block a little with your right leg. So yeah, I don't think I should be getting all these blocks, should I? Does it, well, I guess, does the martial art on defense still count regardless of what weapon you're using? You just don't get weapon 
uh, or attack abilities. Maybe that's what's what it is, and I just never noticed it before. Maybe you still get all the defensive stuff. Just from the gear itself? I didn't think just putting the gear on gave you the ability, but maybe. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. I am unsure. It just seems weird. Disabling the martial art and having that sequence of misses go one more time would have probably answered it. <laughs> I guess it's something you could set up a test for in a test world. Okay, so even more damage to the arms this time from uh, me letting a uh, necro boomer hop in the vehicle. The rule now, I think, is that we just uh, establish a kill perimeter <laughs> about two squares out from the vehicle. If anything gets within two squares, we blab it with a fifty. That that'll that'll be the rule. Okay, yeah, big town. Fungal tower's not actually fungling. Um, recycling center. That's fun times if you're looking for a martial arts. Electronic store and so on. I just, I can't afford to try to go into any of these places right now, so. I need to find a nice motel I can get a map from or a wind turbine I can hop onto the top of to get a view of the world. I need to really stop messing with all these zombies that are just keep messing me up. Shock zombies going after the dogs and cats. Or the two dogs. And it rolls right into another town, does it? Hmm. I wasn't really intending on circling this entire thing. I was looking for other landmarks and roads and such. But it just goes right into another town. Uh-oh. Bot truck? Bot truck. Could be some fun stuff in the SWAT truck. It's pretty close to town, though. It's probably got too much stuff. Westmoreland, huh? We're right up against the urban city block. And here come the flyers. Uh-oh, crap. I'm, I'm driving right into Amigo Scout. <laughs> oh, boy. Here comes the shot. I had better straighten out and keep buzzing south. If I keep turning into him, I think it's going to get worse. What kind of body sight? Drug sight. So, let's take a shot. There goes one shot. Fires its weapon. We'll see if he takes care of those guys while we scoot back around. See if we can maybe go grab some fun stuff from the SWAT truck. SWAT armor would be about probably the best thing, I think. Oh, are we really going to get a free run up? Oh, not quite. Grappler zombie on the other side of it. So close. Um, I could try to blap the Scrappler zombie who hasn't spotted me yet. Keep going south. There you go. Oh, well, that's not good. What the hell are they doing over there? <laughs> Why are they knocking each other down or whatever's going on? Struggles to climb to its feet, struggles to climb to its feet, climbs to its feet. What 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 you guys doing? Having a little 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 dance party or something? 
too close to the vehicle. They'll come after me if I try to go down there. Wondering if I can get on the far side of the vehicle, approach like this way, step in, crouch, check the stuff. Ah, oh, the door's broken and open. They'll see that. Kevlar zombie is coming my way, and now we got a smoke zombie coming. Alright, so that's not going to work now. And the smoke zombie is now reoriented. So now it gets messy again. So close. So close. Kind of weird looking. Shadow Raptor. Amigo Scout, moving north. Come on, Kevlar zombie. Get tagged. Get, get tied into the Amigo Scout. Amigo Scout, I can at least drive away from fairly easily. Just need enough time to scream on in and grab the goodies and get out of here. going in regardless. What do we got? Ballistic mask, an HK 417, A2 plus one, firing 7.62, huh? That's not too bad, actually. Battle rifle, 54 range damage, out to 60 maximum range. Uh, I mean, we've got the scout sniper rifle, so we've already got something in this category. This fires 762 instead of my precious 8x40. Um Is it a strap? It is not a strap. Let's put Roberto away. We'll go ahead and take it with us. Nothing else fun, unfortunately. Ninety-five percent eye coverage, huh? Yeah, it was it was probably worth it. Uh, little town's wedged up against the ru the woods, so we can't do much there. I think I'm gonna go. We'll go south a little ways along the road, and then we're gonna have to work our way back. I'm I'm too far out to the east now. I think. Maybe get a windshield. Um, yeah, that might have been a good spot to get a windshield. I forgot about the windshield. We had the opportunity there. I was a little nervous because of the Migo Scout in the area, and trying to take the windshield out is going to take time, and the Migo Scout could wander up and start shooting me. Military helipad. Well, look at that. A refuel point. It no longer has turrets. What do we got? We got Ilya soldiers, we got flamethrowers, Kevlar, and a bunch of soldiers. Is that the helip map? I can't tell. It's probably not going to be anything useful in there. Doesn't look like it's the um, medevac one that has the cool drugs. I mean, we're still sitting on 160 liters of gas, so I don't really need to mess with this. 
About the only benefit would be, let's see. Um, I'm not sure there would be a benefit really for what we've currently got got going on. Another mansion. Another mansion hiding in the woods. We'll go down and look. If I can get a good angle, we'll see if we can spot anything in the entryway. There's not a lot of driving. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be tough to get the angle. Ah, it's going to be sticky. I'll try once. Flyer's already coming out at me. Here. Dang it. Not going to give me enough time. Don't see anything on that mannequin or that mannequin. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think I'm going to stick around for this. We're not in condition for this kind of engagement. What the hell? <laughs> turkeys scattered all the way across the road. Get away, turkeys. Yeah, go the other way, turkeys. How painful is Amigo Scout? Um, I avoid them like the plague. When they were first introduced, they were ridiculously powerful, overpowerful, deadly. They're not as bad now, but they've got their little ray guns that have a pretty good range on them. I'm not sure if they still do the damage and hits the same location or any of that kind of stuff anymore. I just stay away from them. I don't have any direct contact with them recently other than taking the occasional pot shot from one as I'm driving by. gotten a good airdrop recently either. Need an airdrop, need a soldier body side, need a um, helicopter crash, any of those would be fine. Ah, oh, we passed a radio tower, another golf course. Back to the radio tower. And yeah, there are zombies in the golf course now. So, more changes. Please, no bees. Please, no bees. That's an interesting tiny section of a vehicle there. <laughs> and the good old lug wrench. Part of a cargo van, huh? All right, hydrate and have some more maple syrup. Oh, we got the full kit. <coughs> M17, assault pack, combat knife, radio. Unfortunately, not the map. But, at least we got a good view around. Come on, come on, come on. Still none. But we already knew about these. Oh, another radio tower over there I just missed. There's going to be another city just south. Yet another industrial. Airport below us. Not much at the airport. Mm, do they have welding supplies in the hangars now? We'll need to check the airport and the industrial. We might have to sit and get repaired just so I can go check these local and yet another irradiation plant. <laughs> hmm. All right. I think I'm going to drive over to this radio tower and uh, check it out. And then we'll uh, probably take a break to uh, heal up, cram some food in us and all that kind of stuff.
A mine with no road connection. That's a little odd. Ambulance. Wanted to get a look in the garage. Yeah, that's not useful. Rename marker to pen. Uh, okay. I'm not sure I can rename itself. <laughs> you try to bend your permanent marker but fail. <laughs> can I, can I scalpel it? All right, so we have uh, we've carved pen into the side of our marker. Could not get reality to uh, to bend. There is no spoon. Apparently, there is a spoon, and it uh, it refuses to bend. Of the map, yes! Perfect. A survivor's map, even. Oh, that'll be nice. Awesome. Alright, so, so far nobody in the area. I gotta be careful now, because with the broken window, animals can just hop into the vehicle through the broken window, too. I need to, I should at least get it replaced with a standard pane of glass. Yeah, I didn't pick up any windshields. Unfortunately. All right, map, show me, oh my God, show me the goodies. First, take a look at what we uncovered. So, even bigger city than we saw earlier. Still no sign of a research facility, though. Ugh. Yeah, that is that is a metropolis there for this world type. And it just keeps going. Three cities crammed in together. Okay, so it ends right about there. So who knows what's north of that. That's definitely not a research facility. I don't see one up there as a possibility. Would be... Uh, I don't remember how wide the research facility is. Maybe. I think this is just part of the city. I don't think that would work for a research facility. That could. That could. Got some weird semi-roads over here. What is with this nonsense? Is this more of the like, mines that are out in the middle of nowhere type of thing? I think this is a motel, but we already have a map. Now, all of a sudden, I run into just nonstop cities. Few possibilities out this way, heading back towards Cowhome. Then our map runs out again. There's Cowhome. All right, so... Do I go any further west? We got another radio tower right there. We might be able to use. Otherwise, I'm not going to go that direction. A couple of possibilities down south, but we're getting an awful long way from Cow Home. And another radio tower there. Um.
All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna stop here for a bit. Fourteen fifty-two. We'll uh, we'll do some reading for a little bit, and then we'll sleep the night away and get moving in the morning after we see what kind of healing we get. Browser video is lagging. Yeah, it depends uh, on things outside of my control. It is a 1080p 60 stream, but other than uh, picking a lower resolution to watch it in, not much I can recommend. All right, we don't need painkiller because it'll fade on its own while we do our, our reading or whatever. We're just going to wait for uh, some kind of nasty swamp creature, forest creature, <laughs> to come buzzing in through the uh, the hole in the window. Or wander spawns to invite somebody to come in and bite me. So, what are we learning now? I forget. I think I was working on tailoring now. What's our skill at again? We are at three and knowledge level five. Actually, we probably were at four and we've rusted a bit because I haven't tailored anything. So that'll instantly regain and we'll gain a level. So what do we got that we can make that's nice and simple? Rags and strings, boonie hat, boonie hat. That'll only get me to four. Red and ah, 21 leather. No. String, rags, and thread. Maybe that one. Although I don't have a lot of rags. Cooking oil. <laughs> that would do it right there. Seven hours. I don't care if I ever make it. It would be the failures and uh, consuming more and more parts that would concern me. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't get our arms broke. It was just the most likely result if the string of misses had continued in that particular fight. Because my blocking from my... Assume I'm either the martial art or from wearing those kinds of items was getting my arms broken really quickly. I needed to spread the damage out to other body parts, basically. It's better for me to take hits to the chest and the legs, or the head even, than to let my arms get broken. So, had it continued, I would have... Uh, turned off the martial art entirely to see if that stopped all the blocking and if not I couldn't have done much it wouldn't have been worth taking the armor off because that would have taken too much time but uh, I could have disabled the martial art to see if that slowed down the block rate I would rather have taken hits in other body parts than continuing to shred my arms alright so yeah I, don't wanna, I, I got a few leather items I can chop up but uh, I guess that one's only 12 That'll get me up to uh, five. Yeah, let's do this one. It's a low fail rate. This one will be okay. Three hours. Should be plenty. What's my focus? 47. Let's turn on the, uh, the stereo and have some happy food. Those two plus that. Wait for the save. Oh, plus 20 for processed gelatin dessert. Look at that. I'm not going to pop open the fruit jam. Good enough. Fatigue level. Yeah, yeah, fatigue level. Let's just wait a little bit. <laughs> All right, wait a little longer. Ah, Woodland White, I told you. <laughs> Stop waiting. Yes. Very much stop waiting. <laughs> very, very much stop waiting. Run to the driver's seat. Get in the driver's seat. Get the vehicle moving. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Goddamn forests. I am so scared of forests now. We'll sit out in the middle of a field and get the typical zombies jumping into the vehicle while I'm doing stuff. As long as it's not Woodland Whites. I think I'm going to stay. I'm not going to crouch. I think that'll get me in more trouble. I need to see it coming. <laughs> okay. Ah, let's just start. Uh, what were I, What was I going to make? 
It was the XS leather armor helmet. Actually, I need the XL leather armor helmet, just in case. That way we can wear it when I go super huge. Sure, let's just spend the leather. All right, you mess up and fail. You mess up and fail. You mess up and fail. Um, no. Oh, I didn't do it near my crafting table either. Silly of me. Should have done it right here. I need to double check something. Uh, so it did hit the chair. Cool. Move it to that position, please. Well, we made it to 19% when we, we failed utterly. But our tailoring got to four and a quarter. Hmm. Come here, leather pants, leather pants, and one of the leather backpacks. Mess up and destroy. No. How we doing? Tailoring is now... Eh, we only made it to 67%. Yeah, she's not going great. Time for some more maple syrup. <laughs> it was like 31 maple syrup gulps. Hey, oh my god, we made it back up to Vary. We're making we're, we're making progress. <laughs> we're getting the weight put back on. Oh, look at that. We just need to go find five more sugar houses and uh, drink another thousand liters of maple syrup. We'll be on our way back to morbidly obese. All right, let's go to keep burning leather. Oh, we finished it. Tailoring five. Hey, look at that. All right, so we caught that up. So now... And now we can do the tricorn without the fail rate. No other recipes. I don't think I have very many uh, tailoring books, so we're getting just the default stuff. I don't have any extra recipes to pick from. Cooking oil, leather, thread. We could do that one. Focus is bad. The sun's going to go down soon. We'll reapply bandaging when uh, we're about to sleep. Let's just read. Let's get our, our reading, our uh, theoretical skill back up above. Okay. Boo boo be gone. <laughs> this time I remembered. And more antiseptic. Okay, we are all set. Um, we just got to pray nothing shows up and steps in the hole in the vehicle to munch on me. We will leave the uh, earplugs out so we can hear them banging on the vehicle. Hopefully they don't just step right into that one spot. Uh, turn off the stereo. Is morbidly obese a good thing? <laughs> it is. It's an awesome thing that I'm demonstrating to everybody. I'm abusing the mechanic. We made it through the night. Got a little bit of healing in. It's hoping for a little bit more. Might be worth sticking around one more day to get fully healed up. Uh, so the deal with morbidly obese is I'm currently kind of pointing out and demonstrating uh, some mechanics in regards to stamina. So the taller you are, 
you get a boost in if you're a tall character you get a boost in stamina not a huge one but you get a boost so we're at max height to take advantage of that if you're young you get a boost in stamina so we're, we're the minimum age possible so i'm the tallest i can be i'm the youngest i can be and you get bonus stamina for being obese each stage so morbidly obese gives you the largest bonus in addition to that, we're taking Fast Metabolism, which also gives you a stamina recovery boost um, at the cost of more food, more burn rate. This is what's causing me a problem to keep the weight on, um, is this, because we're burning food so fast. And then we're also Indefatigable, which uh, gives you a significant boost to your stamina. So by doing all this stuff, we've got a redonkulous amount of stamina. Uh, by default, I believe the starting survivor's 8,700, uh, or was it 10,000? I forget now. Um, but we've got just ridiculous levels of stamina. Now, we've also been training athletics with all the activity we've been doing, so you can actually gain stamina as the game goes by if you're active lifestyle and you're burning calories constantly um, from heavy work and so on, or whatever reason. So, if we go look at the edit player and we go look at our stamina, currently our max stamina is 20,576. So, this character could run sprint way, way, way farther than any other standard character could. Now, a significant portion of this, I think, is the uh, what we've gained by increasing our, our cardio, basically. Um, but if I remember right, we were at like 13,000 when we started. Or maybe it was higher, because the testing I've done before, I didn't have indefatigable. Um, so that boosted us up pretty pretty high. So take take my numbers with a grain of salt, but just believe me when I say that uh, you get a pretty big boost. So yeah, and uh, it's silly because, with the weight specifically, it's silly because there is absolutely zero negative effects in regards to movement or combat by being morbidly obese. None whatsoever. A morbidly obese character, if you took a default standard character and compared it to a default character with morbidly obese, the morbidly obese character is more capable in combat and in movement than the standard character is by a significant amount. He can run farther because he's got a larger pool of stamina before he goes winded, so he can, he can run farther than uh, the standard character can. Um, he can fight longer. There's absolutely no consequences for morbid obesity in regards to movement and combat. The only downsides are the things that are attached to the morbidly obese, which is the negative effects on your hidden health stat. So you're more susceptible to infections and harder to cure infections. You'll get colds and flus more often because your, uh, your, your immune system is compromised or at the lowest point. So the obesity pegs your health stat at the lowest possible value. Morbidly obese, the highest level does. So you're always at the worst possible health stat. So you're going to have slow hit point regeneration. You're going to have... Uh, more susceptibility to cold and flu, things like that. But if you know how to deal with those, if you're used to playing with compromised hit point recovery, which I do all the time because I take imperceptive healer pretty commonly as a very, very common trait. So I don't care about that. You can wear a gas mask and you're completely immune to the diseases. You can't get a cold or flu while you're wearing a gas mask. Um, so it has almost no negative consequences whatsoever for a character that can, or a, a player that knows how to deal with the few negative consequences of the, the suppressed health stat. And it just gives you a free big old pool of stamina to work with. So that's why I'm kind of bringing attention to it and educating on it, because I think it's silly and they need to do something about the, uh, the whole obesity mechanic, the way it's currently set up. It needs to have other consequences, basically, than uh, just compromising your health stat. Okay, what those would be, I don't know. Uh, I'm just pointing out the absurdities. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, checking back through chat now. <laughs> yeah, so I am as tall as I can be. I'm as young as I can be. I'm as obese as I can be. And I took traits that also enhance stamina. So this character's got ridiculous levels of stamina. And then, of course, our active lifestyle and our high calorie burn rate is rapidly accelerating our cardio uh, athletics, which is also expanding our stamina. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to stay here. Let's get fully healed up. 
There's no downside. We're, we're, we're pretty blasé about the passage of time at this point. It's already really dangerous to go into the cities. So we had built in evolution that um, had like, I forget what, what, 30 days, 60 days, however much evolution built in right at the start. And then we've now accumulated another 21 days. So let's have some more food. More maple syrup in the gullet. And then a save game break. Whoops. And then we started mashing down the candies. That's fine. Wow, did we have a lot of space in our belly? That was a lot of maple syrup. <laughs> that was a lot of maple syrup. Okay, good times. Maybe we will be able to get back to morbidly obese. I need my morbidly obese. I miss my, my stamina. So that, that 20,000 number I showed you, we're not even up to the, the worst of the weight ranges. We're going to get another little bit of a boost when we get up to the next weight range, the final one. All right. Um, we're okay there. I think I'm just going to keep reading. We'll read the day away. Unless we're otherwise in, interrupted. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn the stereo back on. How's the batteries doing? Wow. 46%. Holy crap. We were down to like 22%. Driving the car around as much as we've been, that alternator has been working double time. That's a lot of work to fill up a storage battery by that amount. Oh yes, we're definitely gonna. <laughs> I've mentioned it. My 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 greatest fear with this run is herbivore. <laughs> when we when we do start mutating cow, I just cannot imagine any person that could possibly maintain morbid obesity and uh, be an herbivore. <laughs> I don't think it's actually possible to do for any length of time. So yeah, that'll be fun. We will starve to death as soon as we turn into an herbivore, probably. Ah, the Woodland White's back. They chased me all the way over here. Yes, stop reading, please. <laughs> They're coming right at me again. Damn you, game. Stop it. Stop it. Good thing I stopped crouching because he would have been in the vehicle if I had been crouching while reading, which is what I typically do. I don't know why I bother because the wander spawns just keeps dropping them in on me anyway. Okay, let's go down here. See if the wandering, uh, the, the wander spawns and the Will and Whites follow me this direction. Actually, let's park on the road. That way, if I got to get moving fast, we got, uh, we got the road under us. Okay, did we make it? I think we were close. Fairly close. Uh, all right, bandaging's down to just the two, and they're still in pretty good shape. We got theoretical six, so we're one level above in theoretical. And we're out of tailoring books, so we'd have to uh, we'd have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um. I guess we could do cutting weapons. We could read a knife fighter book to learn how to wield our axe. Sure, why not? Stop. Time to drink some water and have some more maple syrup. Oop. Apparently the maple syrup's in the very back. About 40 doses of maple syrup or so. Oh, we'll only have another couple of big buffets of maple syrup and we'll be all out. Um, back to reading. Whoa, giant wasp. Where wasp? 58 back behind me. All right. They don't usually wander or move too much. So we'll, um, we'll put the battle rifle in my hands. Where did you go, Battle Rifle? Where's Lip Hugh? Too many things have that combo. Come here, Lip Hugh. Just in case the Wasp shows up. Hmm. 
1500 and the bandaging and disinfectant is still active? I put that on like before I went to sleep the previous day and it's still active? Or did I reset it when I woke up? I forget. Huh. All right, well, that's level three. We're done with that one. Um, Time to start working on electronics. Yeah. And we're tired and hungry and the sun's going down. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll stop there. All right, we are all set for another sleepy time. Hopefully nothing visits. Nah, we'll stay right again. I'm not going to put the blindfold on this time. We'll be asleep, but I don't care if the sun wakes me up. Oh no, practical skill dropped. Skill rust! Our last batch of maple syrup. And we still didn't heal fully. Ouch. Good old hidden health stat slowing down my heal rate. Well, that's it for the bulk food that we were enjoying so much. Let's get back to eating a bunch of candy. I think it's time to get moving again. All right, so we're gonna go uh, radio tower and possibly radio tower and then make some decisions. So don't. map at the motel won't help me much. We already got one pretty close to here. Yeah, let's just, uh, work our way back up that way to the radio tower. Zombie dog hanging out on a gravesite? Is that a thing? A <laughs> nearby corpse struggles to stand and move. Hey, zombie dog. Sorry we couldn't save you. Hmm. Bad story. Better be hitting the fence and not my vehicle. <laughs> I think he's hitting my vehicle. I parked that way on purpose. Just so I wouldn't have to deal with him. Oh, well. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? They won't give me a, uh, a research facility. <laughs> but we're finding everything else. Good old Exodii, home of Rubick. Still can't see what I'm looking for. Hopefully this radio tower will give me like that and that. I don't think it'll get me any others. Maybe down to here, but probably not. We'll see. 
All right, so southeast along the road and then down to the radio tower. See you, zombie dog. Please, oh please, let this... Ah, Woodland Whites again. Let this one not have bees. Oh, it's a roadblock. Woodland Whites going after the roadblock. Well, that's interesting. They're not... I don't know. Can they kill the turret? Turret will run out of ammo. It's already out of ammo. They're trying, but I don't think they're doing any damage to it. Yep, they're not doing any damage to it. Problem is, the other one, I think, is going to... Uh, the other turret is going to shoot me with beanbags. Oh, nope. It's going to be out of ammo, too. It's in range of that one white. All right, it's now out of ammo also. So now I just need to get past without being... Yeah, they're not damaging it. They shouldn't move off of the uh, the turret shouldn't <laughs> right armor Kevlar vest hey over on the other side where I can pick them up maybe we'll pick them up on our way out ah bees 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 it's full of bees damn it <laughs> no I got a bee coming at me already Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's a Dermatic attacking the turret now. Nah, we're not messing with that. That's way too dangerous. Pretty hilarious, but uh, nope. Not going there. So now, unfortunately, we got to go back out and over this direction. Ah, they're all bees. They're all bees. They got wings. They 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 buzz. They stab you. They're all bees. I don't want to go to this thing. Man, this whole episode is going to turn into me just driving around again. I hate that. All right, we're going to go past your mouth, past the mine, over to the airport area. Well, sure would love to get some reinforced windshields out of that military cargo truck, but it's too dangerous. Too close to a town and a bunch of zombies. Predator. Remind me to replace my metal arm guards or fix them. That might be part of the problem. The low level zombies. I think the protection value has dropped because of the damage. And so more is bleeding through. Spite ear. <laughs> A giant adult antlion. So maybe I'm trying to remember what the airport setup. Is this the one with the chain link fence at the end, or can you drive in on the back end? I think you can drive in on this end get to these without having to deal with the few zombies that are over in the terminal. <laughs> 